Well, it's budget crunch time around the state for counties. And joining us today from All Glaze County, we've got the administrator, Erica Preston, in. And we're going to talk about budget there because you guys passed your budget already, right, Erica? We did. We passed our budget on the first business day of the, the new year. So we feel like we're ahead of the game this year. That's awesome. So what does it look like, though? What kind of budget did you guys work out for the year? Um, so our general revenue fund, we're up about 4.4%. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a... A consistent trend year over year, um, especially when we're seeing a lot of our contract service agreements going up 10%. So uh, we went from about a $20 million budget for our general revenue fund to about a $21 million budget. Mm -hmm. And I suppose the, the state always requires this, right? It has to balance out. It has to look realistic. I mean, you can't like you try to be like, well, we think this number's right, right? <laughs> right, right. We can't do our side on the for the commissioner's office until the auditor's side certifies the revenue, and then the revenue. You know, and then the expenses do have to, you know, they have to line up. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the challenge, you know, waiting on the auditor. You have to close out the year before you can get certified revenue, and then you can work on your appropriations for the following year. But, um, you know, we're excited that it kind of went off without a hitch. That's um, good. You know, when we were looking at our revenue numbers from 2022, sales tax is our bread and butter. Mm -hmm. and, and we were we were right where we expected to be. We were down about a, a, ha a, a percent and a half. So, you know, the margin of error, that's absolutely fine. So we're, we're comfortable. Um, and, you know, some of the increases that we're seeing, you know, cost of living increases mm -hmm. and, you know, health insurance increases. So that 4.4% seems right in line for us. Right, yeah. Okay, so did were you allowed or able to get any good projects in there, that stuff that you, maybe you want to get accomplished? At, well, absolutely. <laughs> and we're seeing a lot of grant money still coming in. Oh, that's so nice. So that's outside of the general revenue fund. But we are on our special funds. We saw an almost 14% increase Um and that's about an $18 million increase, but that's grant money coming in that we're, you know, we're working on potential um, Auglaize Development Fund projects, which is our ARPA, so still a leftover from COVID and our Brownfield grants and our demo grants and some of our home development grants. So we're really seeing some, some money coming down from the state level, which does impact our special revenue funds, which is helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice to be on the state's radar, I guess, then to be able to pull some of that in, or is that stuff that, like grants and stuff you had to write up to get well, some of that? A little bit of both, <laughs> right? But we did hire a new um, community, community development coordinator in 2022 which is also a grant writing position. So we're really trying to take advantage of any money we can see mm -hmm. that we can pull into the county that we're, we're taking advantage on top of all of our other funds that come in for the general revenue fund. Right, yeah. I mean, it sounds like those are projects and things that you can do that residents in the whole county will notice. I mean, this is just not funds where you're gonna do stuff and no one really realizes right, it, right? right? I, I mean, Obviously, county level, where we try to impact everyone in the county and, and making a difference. And it might be a community, a specific community project, but then a project in the other community as well. So everyone's really feeling that impact. And, you know, a lot of the stuff we're seeing at our sheriff's office, I mean, that's a lot oh. of our funds go there right. um, because they're just a 24-7 operation. So when you, anything that touches sheriff's office full county impact, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're seeing a lot of those projects too. Yeah, definitely. Do you think like, uh, you know, everyone's worried about inflation and the rising cost. Did that really hit your budget, you know, hard or is it like you've been able to kind of deal with that? There's <laughs> definitely some pockets where it's hitting. I mean, for fuel costs, we, we're seeing an 18% mm. increase in our budget for fuel and that's a big increase. Right, things that um, we saw in 22, we're seeing it again in 23. Yeah. So yeah, we are. There, there are certain pockets that we really are hitting. The inflation is hitting us. Mm -hmm. But it seems like all Glaze County is doing pretty good as far as like jobs, right? I mean, it seems like employment's pretty low yes, and you things. See, right? Yeah, our employment numbers continue to, to stay low. So um, well, that's good, right? Because people are working and bring <laughs> sure. But when we bring, yeah, so we workforce development is something we focus on. We we need people. We need people coming into the area to to do those jobs because our um, uh, unemployment is so low. So yeah, but that is something we focus on as well. All right. Some positive budget news from Allglaze County. Absolutely. Thank All you. All right. Thanks for coming. All right. Don't go away. We'll take a look at medical news next.